Mr. Truck here installing the Gen Y weight distribution hitch on this small trailer. We need some bolts because we're going to add the Gen Y hitch, weight distributing hitch to the CM stock trailer, the 14 footer, yeah. the stock combo. And instead of being a tubular frame like the cargo trailer is, it's an angle iron. It's a wide angle iron with another piece of angle iron welded in it, kind of boxing it in. But it's going to take longer bolts. We need a five inch bolt, half inch, and we're going to go with a grade eight. Grade eight means there's a little more carbon in it uh, versus, say, just a galvanized bolt. You don't want too much carbon because it'll make it brittle, but that's what this is. So we need four of these five inch, half inch bolts, and we've got to get nuts and lock washers. I don't know if we need washers. Let's see. These are what we need here. Now we just got to get the nuts. Kind of like Trek Nuts, the book. We're installing this hitch, this weight distributing hitch. Now this is the spring arm brackets we're putting on here and Andre's running the camera and he drilled the holes in here which is okay but now I gotta take a jigsaw and connect the holes connect the dots so we can run the bar through there connect the plates and we'll be ready to put the weight distributing hitch on here this way we can take it off when we're done with it and we don't mess up the paint gee I broke it I broke my tooth what yeah that's okay, I'll get the file out and see if I need to get another pedal. It's going. I don't know who drilled the hole. Well, you tapped them. <laughs> so you say it's my fault? Hey guys, Andre here. This is a quick refresher on the weight distribution hitch. Now the primary function of the weight distribution hitch is to actually help distribute the weight between the frame of the trailer, you can see here, and the frame of the truck or the tow vehicle through the hitch. And the trinian bar is actually key here. It provides, the steel in the bar provides a spring to help support and distribute the weight throughout both the tow vehicle and the trailer. However, the Gen Y hitch solution we're using also has an additional feature, which is sway control. Uh, when the truck and trailer turn, this trunion bar is actually going in and out like this. And the tricky part for sway control is actually this latch on the L bracket here, which actually grabs the trunion bar and helps to control the sway. For weight distributing, if you look at the General Motors manual, it says you're required to use it on trailers over 5,000 pounds. As I recall, Ram and Ford recommend it. GM requires it. That means it affects your warranty and can affect your insurance. And that's how we do it. If we're over 5,000 pounds, we use weight distributing hitch. If we're over 3,000 pounds, we use brakes on the trailers. And in Colorado, you have to have brakes on all your axles on the trailer. And this particular trailer, max weight is 7,000, right? Yes, this has two 3,500 pound axles. So that's where you're at, 7,000 pounds. So to be safe and to control sway, we gotta do this. Right, and this, this Gen Y hitch weight distributing has built-in sway control, which is the kind of weight distributing hitches I use and that I like. That way you're killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, see, I don't do the manual labor, but I think you do. So it's, and it makes sure as you're tightening that up that it looks straight up and down okay, so as much as you can. Even pressure on both Yeah, sides. even pressure and keep that bar straight. And that's all there is to it, to putting the... The uh, tongue brackets is what these are called, the spring arm brackets. Well, this is pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, it really is. You gotta cut a little chunk out, which is very small. I mean, it still is not, you know, it has nothing to do with structure, the structure of the trailer. Be perfect here. You're doing very good, very good. And that looks good. That way we didn't disturb the paint on the trailer, which is a real nice metallic. And that way you also can see the Gen Y weight distributing hitch brackets and where they are. When we measured on how to put the, uh, spring arm brackets on, it'll tell you that in whatever hitch you buy, if you buy a new one, if you buy a used one, you'll want to take your bars out and see where they land. Put your hitch on, put your bars on, and you can see that you have enough room sliding through the L bracket. And where's an L bracket? 
This is an L bracket. When you put this on, it's adjustable to height this. So what you'll do is you'll measure your spring arms to make sure that when you turn corners and such, it doesn't pull out of here or it doesn't push too far in. Spring arm brackets are on place from just got the spring arms on here. And I'm showing you how that works. That L bracket goes in there and we don't have the ball on here, but that's where it slides through. It goes back and forth. See, that's how it goes. It slides in and out of there. You see it grabbing. That's what it'll do. It'll grab on that bar as it goes through there. That's how it works. And we'll be ready to go. All safe with our weight distributing hits. See you next time. Thanks, Mr. Truck. Yeah.